Tesla's new aluminum ion battery just did the one thing every EV owner thought was impossible. It powered through minus 30 degrees Celsius frozen starts and 50 degrees Celsius desert heat without swelling, slowing, or risking fire, charging to 80% in minutes, as if nothing happened. So what kind of chemistry stays stable when other batteries fail? And why is Tesla unveiling it now? Let's dive right in. The moment we step past the shocking intro, one thing becomes obvious. Tesla didn't build this aluminum ion battery to win spec sheets or to charm investors. They built it to challenge the laws of weather, durability, and thermal stability. Areas where traditional lithium batteries have always shown their limits. And the more we look at the real-world data behind Tesla's 2026 tests, the more that boldness starts to make sense. The company didn't want gentle simulations or friendly environments instead. They pushed these early packs straight into climates where even seasoned EV owners hesitate to drive. In the frozen north, they faced mornings colder than commercial freezers. In the desert, the asphalt reached temperatures that distort plastics. Most manufacturers avoid these extremes until the very end of development Tesla chose to begin with them. That decision led to the first revelation of the program. At minus 30 degrees Celsius, a range where lithium-ion chemistry becomes sluggish, hesitant, and prone to voltage drops, the aluminum-ion modules behaved almost unnaturally calm. There was no waiting for the battery to warm itself, no reduced charging, no panic-inducing range dips. The pack simply delivered power. Test logs showed efficiency staying above 90%, while the comparable lithium units collapsed toward the mid-70s. The chemistry seemed immune to the cold-induced thickening that slows lithium ions and forces so many EV drivers to preheat before charging. Naturally, any battery that performs well in extreme cold raises another question. Can it survive the opposite scenario? Tesla moved quickly to answer it. In places like Arizona and Dubai, where station equipment and EV cabins regularly soar past 50 degrees Celsius, the same aluminum cells again performed with an almost suspicious level of stability. Surface temperatures climbed toward 60 degrees, a point where lithium separators begin to deform, but the aluminum packs absorbed the heat with minimal resistance and kept their internal temperature far below the danger zone. There were no signs of swelling, no gas pockets pushing against the layers, and no electrolyte leaking into places it shouldn't. This wasn't just a small improvement, it was a shift in how a battery behaves under stress. A lithium pack under that kind of heat loses nearly 12% of its efficiency after only a few hundred cycles. The aluminum ion cells, even after 300 intense cycles, barely lost more than 2%. That difference becomes enormous over years of use, especially for drivers living through increasingly unpredictable summers. Once Tesla confirmed that their new chemistry could endure both ends of the temperature spectrum, they pushed the experiment further. They alternated the conditions, freezing nights followed by scorching days torturing the modules in a way no consumer would ever realistically experience. Yet after 1,000 full charge and discharge cycles, the aluminum ion packs still retained around 85% of their original capacity. Lithium, under the same schedule, drifted downward toward the low 70s. What looks like a modest percentage difference on a report represents entire extra years of usable lifespan reduced maintenance costs, and far more confidence when buying an EV expected to last. But if thermal stability is the backbone of this battery, charging performance is its knockout punch. Real logs show charging from 0 to 80% in just 10 minutes, and this wasn't achieved using exotic equipment. It used standard DC fast charging, the same infrastructure drivers use today.
Aluminum ion simply accepted the current more willingly because its internal temperature didn't spike. A typical lithium pack begins to protest once it crosses around 0.7 C of charging rate. The aluminum ion modules comfortably reached nearly 1.9 C, far beyond what most EV owners have ever experienced. This is where debates start. Some viewers will immediately question whether such extreme charging speeds destroy the battery. Others will argue that fast charging only looks good in the short term, but crushes long-term health. It's a fair concern, and exactly why Tesla included fast charging events across their 1000 cycle test. Even with that stress, the aluminum ion units held above 85% capacity. The old assumption that fast charging must shorten battery life simply didn't apply here. However, the story isn't perfect, and acknowledging that builds credibility. For all its advantages, aluminum ion still trails lithium ion in energy density by roughly 15 to 20 percent. It means that for now, the same sized pack holds slightly less energy. But quarterly improvements have been consistent. With density rising by nearly 5% every few months, engineers privately estimate that Tesla could close the gap much sooner than expected. If aluminum ion reaches the same energy density as Tesla's current 4680 cells, every weakness disappears and the advantages become unchallenged. What makes this technology even more compelling is the economics behind it. Aluminum is abundant, safer, and significantly cheaper than lithium. People often overlook how much cost is tied to protecting lithium packs from their own heat and volatility. Layers of insulation, cooling plates, sensors, and structural components all add weight and engineering complexity. Remove the fire risk and you remove half the hardware. That, in turn, gives the car more efficiency and improved driving dynamics without altering the chemistry itself. Yet the biggest implication of this battery isn't technical, it's strategic. Tesla seems to be preparing for a world where EVs can't depend on mild weather or predictable infrastructure. Climate instability, more extreme winters, harsher summers, longer commutes, and greater reliance on fast charging all point toward a future where survivability matters more than ideal efficiency. A battery that doesn't freeze, doesn't overheat, doesn't swell, charges fast, and lasts longer is not a luxury. It's a requirement. And when you look at it through that lens, the 2026 Aluminum Ion Project stops looking like a bold experiment. It starts looking like preparation. Tesla isn't merely racing competitors, they're preparing for conditions even governments and industries haven't fully acknowledged yet. That's why these tests weren't hidden in labs. They took them straight into reality, because reality is the environment EVs will have to survive in. Everything leads to one final uncomfortable question, one that's already generating argument in comment sections and forums. Did Tesla create this battery simply to make cheaper, safer cars? Or because they expect the coming decade to challenge EVs in ways we're only beginning to understand? The data suggests the latter. A battery that shrugs off both blizzards and desert heat isn't a coincidence. It's a warning shot. In the end, the message is simple. A battery that stays stable from minus 30 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius isn't just a technical win. It's a turning point. This is exactly why Tesla pushed aluminum ion into real weather. It proves the future of EVS won't be defined by ideal conditions, but by technology that performs when everything else fails. And what happens next could reshape far more than cars. If this chemistry keeps improving, we're looking at stronger grid storage, tougher robotics, and cleaner transportation in places where EVs once struggled. It's real progress you can feel, not just hear about. Now, I want to hear from you. How do you think this breakthrough will change the EV world over the next decade?
comment below, and let's talk. If you got value from this breakdown, hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe to Tech Revolution. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss the next big shift in tech. The future just became a lot more resilient, and we're only getting started. Tesla's new aluminum ion battery just did the one thing every EV owner thought was impossible. It powered through minus 30 degrees Celsius frozen starts and 50 degrees Celsius desert heat without swelling, slowing, or risking fire, charging to 80% in minutes, as if nothing happened. So what kind of chemistry stays stable when other batteries fail? And why is Tesla unveiling it now? Let's dive right in. The moment we step past the shocking intro, one thing becomes obvious. Tesla didn't build this aluminum ion battery to win spec sheets or to charm investors. They built it to challenge the laws of weather, durability, and thermal stability. Areas where traditional lithium batteries have always shown their limits. And the more we look at the real-world data behind Tesla's 2026 tests, the more that boldness starts to make sense. The company didn't want gentle simulations or friendly environments instead. They pushed these early packs straight into climates where even seasoned EV owners hesitate to drive. In the frozen north, they faced mornings colder than commercial freezers. In the desert, the asphalt reached temperatures that distort plastics. Most manufacturers avoid these extremes until the very end of development Tesla chose to begin with them. That decision led to the first revelation of the program. At minus 30 degrees Celsius, a range where lithium-ion chemistry becomes sluggish, hesitant, and prone to voltage drops, the aluminum-ion modules behaved almost unnaturally calm. There was no waiting for the battery to warm itself, no reduced charging, no panic-inducing range dips. The pack simply delivered power. Test logs showed efficiency staying above 90%, while the comparable lithium units collapsed toward the mid-70s. The chemistry seemed immune to the cold-induced thickening that slows lithium ions and forces so many EV drivers to preheat before charging. Naturally, any battery that performs well in extreme cold raises another question. Can it survive the opposite scenario? Tesla moved quickly to answer.